Hey guys, today we're going to do a Maslow run again. Uh, Pokemon Blue, you're all familiar with this by now. So let's just get cracking. Three, two, one, and go. Okay, so for those of you who are new to this, a Maslow run is basically a run where we try to reach the top of Maslow's hierarchy, namely self-actualization. To get there, we need to go through all of our physiological, safety, belongingness and love, and self-esteem needs. And to do that, we have to accomplish a few things and go through a few stages of life. The first stage we're going to need to go through is the physiological stage, where we make sure we have food and shelter. Safety needs are just about kind of feeling safe in our own skin and also against any predatory threats. We're naming the rival SSSSSSSS here because we want them to have no identity. This way we have little competition. So you may have noticed I just skipped ahead there a little bit. That is allowed in the run, don't worry about that. We have to talk to mum, because if we don't, we won't feel completely safe later on in the game. And as you can see here, we've automatically got a flower, we can eat that, that's edible. The books in here, they're edible. TV, with a bit of effort, that's edible. There's a roof over our head, there's a black void outside. Overall, our physiological needs have been met. We walk outside, there's a lock on the door, as you can see, there are lock on door on doors all around here. No law enforcement, but it's a pretty sequestered, close community, therefore we can probably get to where we need to go. So I think both of our needs have been met here, physiological and safety, both at the same time. We now go on to belongingness and love. This is a bit harder, but to do it we just go straight into the grass here. Oak comes out, he assails us with not only words, but affection. The affection gives us the drive to then propel ourselves forward. As you can see here, he cares for our well-being, we feel belonged, we feel loved. Next step. Self-esteem is a bit harder to accomplish, for this we need to assign ourselves a precise philosophical goal. Today our goal is going to be unending malice and the end of human race. Our Pokemon is our tool of destruction. We just need to choose the one that will do the most damage in the, few, in the most little amount of time. And for that we need Squirtle. The reason why we want to be malicious in this run is because it's quicker. Normally you have to build close ties to your local community or do huge amounts of charity. So right now I'm just making sure that I want the Squirtle. That way it'll solidify our hold on not only our motivations but our Pokemon. It knows that we can walk out on it at any time. We name it BBBBB because again we don't want to have a sense of identity. You might be wondering why we're being so cruel in this run, and it's pretty simple. We want to do things quickly. Friends take a long time, enemies don't. Right away we're confronted with a battle here. We're hoping to boost our self-esteem just by beating this guy up. Like I said before, having a malicious end is a great way to just speed things up, get to our sense of self-worth. This will also make our fall from grace a lot more comfortable. Because once we've fallen from our malicious ideals at the self-actualization stage, we'll then be able to pretty easily just smoothly transition into reaching our full potential. We tail whip because we want to make sure we get all our tackles off at the highest amount of damage possible versus time spent. Team Man 420 in the community found this skip where you can just tail whip this guy and it after you start tackling after the tail whip, it completes the fight in the shortest amount of time. So shout out to Team Man for that. He doesn't play this game anymore. Uh, I think he's serving as a religious leader for the Buddhist church, but uh, I don't know anything about that. Something about llamas. Okay, so we're level 6. That's a representation of our own growth in not only personal development, but toward complete self-belief. Now for the hardest part, self-actualization for this, we need to find the error of our ways. And to do that, we want to get beaten up as quickly as possible by whoever we can. The reason why this is the most effective way of going about this is because other methods of realizing, realizing our faults and reaching our potential are simply too slow. 
for example, if you're a drug addict, you might have to spend five years in a hospital in rehab and then have, have to divorce yourself from all relationships and your family before finally realizing that you're in the wrong. Whereas a quick, swift beating can make sure everything goes quickly. So we're going to tail whip our way to success here, make sure we get beaten up as quickly as possible. Pidgey doesn't have very much attack, but we're going to hope for some grits. I think we're going to cut our losses here and run away, because this guy's going to take too long to kill us. Even with a crit, that was only a couple of damage. Alright, another Pidgey. Hope for a high level. No. Bad RNG. So the way the game is seeded is if you if you don't find yourself in a sense of fulfillment right away, the Pokemon are seated at lower levels and therefore it takes a long time to get, get killed by them. Let's hope for a level 3 here. Nice. Okay, Tail Whip. Okay, Gus, that's good, that's good. Hope for a crit. Damn. Okay, so by reaching self-actualization soon, we'll be then ending the run. After that, we, before that rather, we have to find it, find out what the revelation our character has had has been. Okay, nice. Gust, good, good, good. Critical hit, that's what we want to see. We want to see another crit here, get us, get us out of the game here. Okay, profound re realization coming up soon. Profound realization happening, yes. Okay, there we are. We realize the error of our ways, it matters not what we've done in the past, only what we do in the future. Finally, at long last, we can discard our ways of violence. We can finally put away our childish things. I can finally live my life freely, without prejudice, without any violence. It matters not how straight the gate I charge with punishments. I scroll, I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul, and time! Oh, okay. I think that's a record. I think that's a record. These other splits, though, are just tests. Don't worry about that, but... That's got to be a PB. I'm so glad you're all here to see this. Thanks for watching.